decentralized autonomous organization. Everything you need to know to stay safe. In this video, you will get to know the concepts of DAO, how it operates, why it was created, what purpose it serves, and its connection to cryptocurrencies. This material will be different from everything available on YouTube because I will focus on the most important information without unnecessary talking. We will start with simple language from the very beginning so that everyone can fully understand everything. At the moment, the majority of companies or corporations are managed in a traditional way, meaning that each company has its president and board, which occasionally meets to discuss current topics, summarize financial matters, address potential issues, or vote on ideas about the future. All significant decisions are made behind closed doors, and an ordinary grey employee or consumer practically has no influence on them. And this is how practically all businesses have operated over the past few decades. Recently, a new concept has emerged as a result of the ongoing global trend towards increasing digitization, necessitating new solutions, particularly in business matters. The concept of DAO, or Decentralized Autonomous Organization, is a business management model that I will now introduce to you. In the previous recording, I discussed the development of the Web3 world, a world composed of various applications, programs, services, and virtual reality that exists solely on the internet, functioning similarly to computer programs. These are spaces whose operations are predetermined by rules encoded in programmed code, allowing us to use them on clear and straightforward terms. The functioning of such spaces is based on blockchain, a simplified term for a distributed database in which each user automatically supports and enables the operation of such a network. The idea behind this solution is the creation of digital spaces that are secure, independent, cost-effective and user-friendly, above all available 24-7 without censorship, political influence, without the need for an external public trust institution and without external manipulation. Companies operating in this way, being blockchain-based applications, have no president, board or even a physical headquarters. However, they still need to be managed in some way because from time to time, improvements need to be introduced, functionality expanded, or some action taken to stay in the market and leave the competition behind. If you haven't used such companies yet, you probably don't know that these services specialize in offering various types of services, just like any other classic business we know today, with the difference that these new versions operate as programmed lines of code called smart contracts. In theory, it may be a bit complicated and challenging to imagine. Later, I will show you a more advanced example. But first, based on a very simple example, I will show you the basics. Let's imagine a digital company named XYZ that engages in charitable activities. On the main page of the service, you can find addresses for depositing cryptocurrencies, which anyone who wants to support those in need can use. All deposited funds are automatically pooled in one place. Each contributor, as a reward for their assistance, receives XYZ company tokens, which can be used for voting on how the contributed funds will be utilized. For example, by depositing $1, we receive one XYZ token, equivalent to one vote. If, besides us, other people contribute an additional $99, the total number of votes will be 100. Remember that such a charitable foundation has no president, board or leadership, but it has a community that decides on its development. Let's assume that the community has decided to use the contributed funds to aid those in need, and everyone can suggest a goal for which the funds will be used. As a member of the community with one vote, we can cast our vote for one of the proposals, and the one that gains the greatest support will be implemented. After the voting concludes, the smart contract, the automated program I mentioned earlier, will transfer the funds to the place chosen in the community's vote. This is the basic function of a DAO, providing a real influence on the company's development through collective decision-making. 
Of course, this was a very basic example, but this operating principle can be applied to voting on any topic, even in multi-billion dollar projects that involve tens of thousands of users. Most often, it works like this. By investing our real funds and purchasing cryptocurrency representing a specific project, we become shareholders and gain the right to vote. Very often, we also participate in profit sharing. In such a case, every involved user who is a shareholder has an interest in the project's positive development, as appropriate decisions mean a greater chance of profit. And it is well known that profit is the main reason why this market is growing so rapidly. Money is the reason why we are all here. This is how decentralized cryptocurrency exchanges operate. Such exchanges have their tokens, which we can buy, thus becoming shareholders and automatically participating in the profit sharing, which constitutes the commission collected from users conducting trading transactions. The advantage of such a solution is complete transparency because everything happens automatically, both the trading exchange and profit sharing. We can check all the data in real time from anywhere in the world. We don't have to wait for a management report, which is prepared by the president once a month. We don't have to trust any leadership and wonder whether all accounting documents have been prepared honestly, simply because the program has pre-programmed how to calculate everything, is impartial, not greedy, and does not make mistakes. In this way, we eliminate all the negative human traits that most often lead to business problems. Additionally, in the case of such a system, we don't have to worry about threats like sabotage or actions detrimental to the company. To have an advantage in voting and vote against the project, one would first have to spend a lot of money on tokens that entitle them to vote, which automatically makes acting against the project pointless. Each shareholder is interested in developing in the right direction because that is the only way to have a chance at profits. So, to participate in a DAO, one typically needs to own cryptocurrencies representing specific projects, and these serve as indicators of our voting power. This is how projects like Uniswap operate, which is a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange. Another example of places using this type of business management is practically all projects based on the Cosmos network, where we can see all the votes for individual projects based on this network in one place. In this recording, I mainly focus on matters related to money because I know that's what interests you the most. However, remember that not all projects operate in this way and not all are about making money. There are also those that leverage the benefits of DAO for their non-profit needs. Of course, such solutions also have their drawbacks, such as hacking threats, which, due to being something new, often arise. We may also forget passwords and seed phrases that enable us to use our digital wallet, resulting in losing access to it. It is also possible that competitors take advantage of the transparency of all information and create a product that is better or better marketed, potentially leading to reduced profits and other benefits for us. There are also cases where smart contracts are poorly programmed, leading to the projects not achieving success in the end. The world of Web3 and DAO operates under the same principles as classical business. The better and stronger prevails. If you want to be prepared for any scenario and stay in the game, check out my cryptocurrency course on the Udemy platform. The link is provided below this recording. Is this solution better than traditional managed business? I believe that each situation should be considered individually. There are traditional companies managed by incredible people with passion and ambitious plans for the future, and they cannot be replaced in any way. Therefore, I cannot say that DAO is the ideal solution for every business. There are industries, especially in the case of digitization, the internet and virtual reality, that have a lot to offer when combined with DAO and there are industries that should never be associated with it. Will such solutions be with us forever? Currently, we observe a significant interest in cryptocurrencies. People appreciate the concept of independence and the ability to manage their finances without any public trust institution.
Additionally, for the first time, we have the opportunity to become shareholders of companies without leaving our homes and without any prior knowledge. This leads me to believe that the coming years will abound with a large number of business models based on DAO-style management. Furthermore, everyone likes to have a real impact on what happens around us. Our nature craves a semblance of power, which additionally contributes to the positive perception of DAO. However, remember that this is only my personal opinion and not investment advice. If you like my material, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. Good luck.